get dunked on. Undertale has become quite the buzz these days, and for a good reason. With many different routes you can take in-game, and a cast of amazing characters, it's no wonder people come back for several playthroughs. Typically, if players traverse through the game without any prior knowledge, they end up at the neutral ending. They hack and slash at their foes like they normally would in a standard RPG, and then start to feel bad about their actions. Which isn't a bad thing at all, because it helps set the mindset for the next playthrough. Most people accept the ending they get and then start the game over, since the second playthroughs are where things get really good. With a neutral ending, the player gets a phone call from Sans who explains how things are going in the underground, and then tells the player to not give up wherever they are. Flowey then pops up and challenges the player to reach this point again without killing anyone. And then people move on. They reset their save, and start anew. But, something has always bothered me about this ending. Not only does Frisk not answer their phone, but the ending is very vague about Frisk in general. And it appears I'm not the only one who took notice. While trekking through the land of Tumblr, I stumbled upon a blog called Undertale Science, which highlights the same exact scenario I was wondering myself. If you haven't checked out Undertale Science, you should definitely do so. There is a link in the description below, and we've combined our thoughts for this video. So, what is so bothersome about the neutral ending, you ask? Well, truthfully, Frisk should not have been able to make it through the barrier. It's impossible without the combination of both a human and monster soul. Seven human souls are needed to break the barrier, but only one of each is needed to grant passage. This is further explained by the story of Azriel and Kara. After they combined, they were able to return to the village from where Kara originated. Since Frisk only has a human soul, and Asgore's soul was destroyed by Flowey, there is no one present to grant Frisk passage to the other side. Regardless of what actions you take in the game, Asgore will always die during a neutral ending, even if you didn't kill anyone. Human souls also can't combine with other human souls either, as Alfie states in lab entry number 7. Since Flowey doesn't have a soul, and Asgore's soul is destroyed, even if the other human souls were still present, nothing could be done to pass the barrier since there are no monsters around to combine with. So if this is the case, what happened to Frisk? There is no way they could have overcome the barrier. We know that humans are able to fall through the barrier at Mount Ebbet with ease. But leaving the barrier is the difficult part. In every neutral ending, it is stated that the barrier is still intact and separating the worlds. Regardless of sparing or slaying Flowey, the player wanders through a door and it's assumed they made it to the other side. But there is no proof that this actually happens. No one has heard from Frisk in quite some time, and it's assumed this is because they've become reintegrated with life on the surface. But what if Frisk never made it to the surface and died on the way out? Frisk always answers their cell phone when called. It never goes to voicemail. The fact that Sans called Frisk's phone is interesting as well, since if Frisk was beyond the barrier, then the phone call would have never connected and would go straight to voicemail. That may sound silly, but from some in-game evidence we can determine that cell phone and internet frequencies are blocked by the barrier. Alfie's mentions that she can't wait until she can finally watch human anime online once she gets to the surface, as she watches her current anime via discs found in the garbage dump. If the internet and cell phone services were connected, then that means Undyne could have read anything she wanted about humans, or even contacted them. I also find it particularly interesting that Sans would make a phone call weeks later, knowing the barrier would stop the signal if Frisk was already on the other side. Papyrus and Undyne mentioned that the core itself causes interference with cell phone usage as well, but it's uncertain whether this is due to the building itself or the close proximity of the barrier. 
So this leads us to quite the conundrum, with a few different possibilities. One, Frisk possibly died on the way out. Two, Frisk somehow made it through the barrier due to our limited knowledge of how it actually works. Or three, we have a plot hole on our hands. Although a plot hole is possible, I have a hard time wrapping my head around it simply due to how well thought out everything in this game was. I can't write it off from the realm of possibilities though. If there's more to the barrier than we know, perhaps Kara had some involvement in either hindering or enabling Frisk's passage through it. Kara could also be another possibility for what happens to Frisk as well. Did Kara kill Frisk before they crossed the barrier? Was Frisk's cell phone left behind prior to crossing the barrier? But most importantly, if the barrier was crossed, how? Now that I've presented our ideas, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this subject. So, as always, I insist you leave us a comment below. You can also contribute to the discussion by checking out Undertale Science on Tumblr. Thanks for tuning in to our barrier-breaking episode of Undertale. If you'd like to join us on our YouTube voyage and help the monsters reclaim their freedom, then the subscribe button is just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, guys and gals, and until our next video, cheers. You've made it to the end of the video, but wait, your quest isn't over yet. There's plenty of Undertale mysteries we still have yet to figure out. Perhaps you'd like to hear what I had to say about Sans or that mysterious Dr. W.D. Gaster. There's also plenty of Nintendo videos on my channel, so maybe you'll find something you will like. Regardless, I hope you enjoy.